Hello, this is Clayton with the Aeromotive Research and Development Group. Today, we're going to be sharing about the Synmax break-in motor oil that's specially designed for the engine break-in process. Synmax break-in motor oil is available in a three-case product, uh, 12 quarts in a case, or for a lower price, uh, get two more cases. We'll work with you for the best uh, pricing need. Now the applications of the braking motor oil is universal for all engine braking needs from four cycle in, in four cycle engine applications, large or small in all cubic inches, recommended by the engine builder for an SAE or 15W40 motor oil. Uh, in the specific use, it's only for break-in engine procedures, not intended for racing or long-term performance. Now, this is designed to protect the camshaft, cam surfaces, lifter surface areas, engine metal and bearing surfaces, all steels and alloys, needle bearings, roller bearing parts, uh, or the turbocharger, improves piston ring and cylinder wall and camshaft and lifter mating. Now I'm going to repeat that. The Synmax break-in motor oil improves piston ring, cylinder wall, camshaft, lifter mating. In other words, everything coming together. Now in the product data, this is important. Now it's a 100% what we call a petroleum product. It's not a synthetic. It has high levels of zinc and ZDDP levels for extreme duty requirements. It does not require any additional additives. It provides superior protection for flat tappet cams, lifters, and moving parts. It will increase the compression within the cylinder ring walls mating area during the horsepower performance of the break-in. It reduced detergency, little to no detergency, allows proper break-in procedures. I might say, what do you mean by that? Well, if you've got a, uh, just a regular diesel oil with high amounts of calcium and, and uh, etc., that that will counteract and not work as well. You need a low detergent product, which this is designed to do. All right. And uh, uh, a qualified break-in procedure will increase the service life because the micron metal, par metal particles are not floating around causing long-term damage. Again, this is not intended for racing use, only break-in applications only. Now the break-in uh, procedure applies to all metal-to-metal -metal contact areas such as your lifters, uh, your valve train, your cylinder, cylinder walls, cross hatch area, piston rings, even your oil pump and dry sump components. Now the break-in procedure, everybody has their own break-in procedure, all right? But the key here is to have matching components by leveling the peaks and valleys of the surface areas, all right? It will then release the contaminants held in the subsurface of the metal, uh, in, the, in the case, etc. The break-in procedure happens through heat, friction, and cool-down cycles. When the metal expands and contracts like a sponge that opens and closes the pores to release and receive or soak in. The particles contaminants are released into the fluid and flushed away upon hot draining. Now for vax maximum benefit, you really need to preheat the oil to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. If not possible, then use caution during the warm-up period. You know what you need to do. You, you turn the ignition off, spark off, turn the engine over for about 30 seconds until oil pressure uh, shows firm movement on the gauge, right? Then you turn the engine over, start at a smooth idle, get everything warmed up and going with full oil pressure achieved and then what we suggest is you get it up to about 1500 rpms all right and just leave it there for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes all right you have to keep the the oil pressure full at the whole time not to let, allow the combustion chamber to load up so if you just leave it there for about 20 to 30 minutes it will do its job very very well now, uh, when you get done, if you want to have some cycles out on the track, just have a couple of light sessions and a full throttle session. Now, one of the things you have to do that we didn't discuss before is that if you have sensors in the block, you will actually know when you've got full compression uh, at, at the piston. That's all you need. You don't need two hours of break-in time. You just get it so that everything is made it together, and then change the oil filter, change the oil, and then put your racing oil in. All right. Now it might take an hour, but it'll be worth it. Now if you've got a, a drivetrain to break in, such as your transmission or rear end, please use the break-in gear loop for that application. The break-in oil also can be used in your classic hot rod applications, so when you rebuild your 
engine. I don't care from a Model T to a Corvette. All right, uh, a 289 to a 500 cubic inch Cadillac motor, even some diesel truck applications, you can be able to use the uh, brake-in motor oil for those as well. Now, as soon as you're, you're done with the brake-in procedure, all right, then you can use the products with the diamond-like additives, such as the 40, the 50 weight oil, etc. So on behalf of Dan Lensing and Wayne Lensing, of Performance Parts Supply, Left-Hander Chassis, and the Synmax family. We want to thank you and uh, as we work together to provide this competition motor oil program for you. Should you desire to purchase the products, contact us at www.synmaxoil.com. Give us a call at 815-389-9999. And if you have any specific technical questions, send us an email at office at aeromotorresearch.com. Thank you, and we'll see you at our next presentation.